Welcome to this Junior's Gasoline Alley where today we are testing the long distance towing capability of a 2020 GMC Sierra with the 2.7 liter four cylinder turbo. And in this journey, we're gonna be going from Palm Coast, Florida to central Massachusetts, a drive that's gonna take nearly 1200 miles and 18 hours. And in this video, we're towing a six by 12 U-Haul trailer. This trailer has a unloaded weight of just under 2,000 pounds and likely loaded up will come in somewhere about 4,500 pounds. So go ahead and join me on this journey and uh, let's see how the little four banger does towing up a trailer. So we've made it into Georgia, checking out the uh, fuel economy here. And so we're about halfway through a tank and on the, uh, the 50 mile fuel economy is looking like 13.3. Now we're cruising at 73 miles an hour uh, and that's because uh, the speed limit here is about 70 so just slightly above nice open roads. Interesting to see what it actually calculates at at the gas station. It's beginning to get dark here but for kicks I've gone ahead and I've dropped the speed down to 70 miles an hour and I've done this for uh, quite some time now and it's brought our 50 mile average to be 14 miles to the gallon. So uh, that's pretty interesting. Obviously speed's going to affect it. I don't know if I'll be bold enough to drop all the way down to 65, but it sure would be interesting how good it would be at 65. Confused by you, you can choose any of three different ride bags for your next adventure. Keep it... So I just filled up at uh, the Shell station there. I went ahead and got 89 octane just because you know, it was pretty hot out here down in Georgia. But uh, that was 311 miles. And in that distance, uh, we averaged 14.2, which considering running you know, 73 miles an hour on the cruise control, that's not too bad. I'm gonna be curious if I drop it down a little bit, whether or not uh, the fuel economy goes up because I'm sure it's, uh, it's speed dependent for sure. But hey, you know, it's going from about 22 unloaded to loaded with that trailer behind me at 14.2 uh, at is pretty good. Well, that's only 311 miles out of the 1,100 miles I got to do. So we'll check back in in a while. Good old fashioned south of the border. So we're about to be crossing from South Carolina to North Carolina and uh, Pretty classic place to stop. All right, we're here at the, the next gas station after a long night, got in about 12.20 and uh, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. But now we're gonna fill back up, make sure that uh, we get a full tank, have a great day of driving, but rather I'll let you know how we did. Uh, I was a bit heavy on the throttle last night, mostly because I wanted to make it to the hotel. So I'm expecting that the fuel economy is not going to be that great this time. There we go. Just clicked off. That last run, $51 and 16 and a quarter gallons. Let's see what that comes out to. That gives us 219 miles at 13 and a half miles the gallon. Uh, so the worst yet, but uh, heavy on the throttle last night because needed to get to the hotel. What in tarnation is this thing? It's like he forgot his back end lift kit. Well, look at that thing. It looks like a whale porpoising out of the ocean. So this stint of highway driving is being done uh, with a 70 mile per hour cruise control. And it looks like uh, there's some real benefit to, uh, to running a little bit slower. Um, the truck's definitely out of boost and it seems to be doing an average more around the range of 15.3 uh, and just dropped to 15.2, but kind of at a pretty good grade at the moment. Interesting to see what this actually turns out to be. So after the next 331 miles, I was driving at 70 miles per hour, so a bit slower, still with 89 octane. The fill up came out to 20.7 gallons and our high of 15.96 miles per gallon. Slower speeds really make a difference. Now we haven't really talked any about how the truck does towing, but uh, you know, the 2.7 ends up being a really nice motor for towing, especially considering the low, uh, low RPM that's needed for the high power. Um, 
with the with the turbo setup you get torque coming in at a pretty low rpm so it means it's constantly in a place where you can get some get up and go and it and it easily gets going uh, faster and it never feels like you're compromising or you don't have enough enough power as you go through um, you know the trailer of course is way lighter than anything this this truck can tow mine being a 2020 is only rated for like 7,000 or 7,500 pounds uh, but the 2021s are rated for 9,000 without any uh, structural changes, just a change in rating because they ended up finding out the, the durability is adequate on this engine. But um, so the trailer behind me is probably not even 5,000 pounds, so it's almost like it doesn't exist. Uh, right now I'm in right now I'm in New Jersey, and uh, the road quality is definitely tough, so we're bouncing around a little. But uh, the truck's handling it like a champ. So really enjoy this uh, the setup and. You know, right now we're cruising 73, 15.4 uh, miles to the gallon, theoretically. And that's uh, that's one thing I should mention is uh, I'm pretty sure that the biggest disadvantage of this right now is just simply the aero. Uh, I suspect the same weight on a low bed uh, trailer and it would probably zip right through just fine. Uh, well, anyways, let's finish off the journey and we'll conclude with the final fuel economy to Club Racer and he wanted a really cool motor so I, I made a four and a half liter version of the S65 once we got rid of the five liter S62. Yeah. Because of the steering and the front suspension. Oh, because Absolutely. it's like regular steering. It's rack right? and pinion. Yeah, right. Which, yeah the, the Wrangler's not because of the live axle, etc., etc. Yeah. So like that's what... Just filled up at the last gas station here of this journey, hopefully. 16.4 uh, miles to the gallon on this one. And my previous run, which uh, it, it was just too busy where I was to be able to film was 16 or rather 15.9 uh, so I think a, a little bit of this there was a lot of elevation at the beginning foot was definitely heavier and I think the aerodynamics are really the biggest factor here you know going through New York and uh, and into Connecticut that's where I am now uh, the speed limits are much lower up here and because of that uh, that is making the truck a lot more fuel efficient so I think the takeaway is um, depending on where you are and how fast you're going is really going to affect it. You're going to get really bad fuel economy when you're going faster. That, uh, that run where I was definitely heavy on the throttle got us down into the 13s. And then this last run, which pretty much was 65 to maybe 67 uh, for my cruise control, got us up into 16.4. Well, that concludes this fuel economy test while towing a 6x12 U-Haul trailer from Florida to Massachusetts. Now, we tracked 1,212 miles, used 80.463 gallons of fuel to come out to a total fuel economy of 15.06 miles to the gallon. I would call that pretty darn good. For a truck with a four-cylinder and a turbo, that's not too bad at all, especially because when you unhitch that trailer, you can get well into the low 20s just going around town. Well, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Any questions you have for me, put them down below, and then click one of these two videos where we do another towing test and a fuel economy test of the GM 2.7 liter turbo.